Hi, welcome to the training for Paid Rewriter. As you can see, we're on the home page and we'll start here. This is where you would log into your account. So if you go up here and you click login, the first thing you're going to see when you log into a brand new account is the project screen. On the project screen, you go here and you click the plus button. That will help you create your first project. Each project should be geared around either a keyword or a batch of keywords. So for this one, I'm going to use London Fencing as an example. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a project for fun fencing content so i'll click next and that will take me into the project if i want to move between projects i can come up here click on that and i will have a list of projects here to move between projects if i want to create a new project i click on the project screen again and it will bring me back to the project screen to the project tab and it'll bring me back to the project screen we can either click on the one that we want to edit and use or we can create as many projects as we want in here okay so we we'll select this one and go back to it okay so we've started off with london fencing Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is how to collect all the content. So let's do London fencing. Let's then hit the drop down menu and we choose a location. So the location we're going to choose, obviously, on this occasion is going to be London because we're doing fencing in London. And then all you need to do next to get all of your content from this location for this keyword, in fact, we'll do funds at London fencing company, is click get content. This is now going to do some work in the middle of the screen. And what it's doing is it's going off to the internet and it's bringing back the content for you. Once the screen goes back to normal like this, then your content has all been collected. Your content sits in the right hand menu here. So as you can see in all your meta titles, it's been broken down for SEO purposes. So you've got meta titles, descriptions, H tags, paragraphs, anchor text, outbound, and so on and so forth down the right hand side. If you go inside of any, these are the top 10 meta titles from the websites on the first page of Google. These are the top 10 meta descriptions. Uh, these are the top 10 H1 tags and so on and so forth from every single one of those websites. As you can see, there's a heck of a lot of content um, in those 10 websites. This is all of the content that is already ranking in Google. You've now got it all collected. And the way you're going to use this is obviously by pulling it across to the project screen where you can actually create and pull the content together before you're going to do the edits. If you want to save the project, uh, the content that's inside of your project, then you simply click the save button here and this will all be saved and this content will be in here forever. When you pull in the content, it costs one credit. So as you can see, I had three credits before. I have now got two credits at the top here and a little bar that shows how many credits I've got left. One credit equals one pull. So it's not one credit for one document. It's one credit for one pull. Once you've created a pull, you can create hundreds of documents for that particular keyword or that particular niche okay if you want to add um or replace the content that you've got up here let's say we wanted to pull in for manchester fencing as well we would then type in here and i would click get content you would then get the option to replace or append the content obviously if we want to add to it we click append if we want to replace the current content we've got i'm going to click append and what we're going to end up with is all of the content from the first page of google for both london and manchester fencing companies as you can see at the top, I now have one credit remaining because I've done two pulls. But now I now have all of this content, all the top 20 meta titles for fencing companies in Manchester and uh, London. The same for the descriptions. We've got the same for the, all the H tags, the paragraphs, the anchor text. And we can pull this across and create documents. If you have a specific way that you like to write a document on an ongoing basis, what you can also use is something called templates. So we can create auto build from templates. Okay, so a template is basically a framework. So let's just call this demo, okay? Now what this is, is this is template. This, this is a framework. So if you imagine this is a skeleton for your document. So if I wanted the top one to be a meta title, and then I wanted two paragraphs next, then I wanted a H1, then I wanted two paragraphs, then I wanted something from a H2, then I wanted two paragraphs, then I wanted something from a H3, and then I wanted two paragraphs. This is going to be quite a long document. You can also style the document in here. So we can make that a H1. We can make that a H2. Make that one a H2. And then we probably stick a H3 in down the bottom here. So what this is now is what we've done is we've created a skeleton for our templates. Okay, so I save that now. If I go back to the project where we've pulled in all the information from Manchester and London, I can click auto build from template and click on demo click select and it will automatically build me a document 
from the template that we've just created, from the skeleton, the framework. If I now go back, I don't like this one, I wanna create another one, I can very simply click this and do it again, it'll rewrite me a complete new document. So as you can imagine, you can write hundreds if not thousands of documents with just a few small pulls, but all the information is saved in the side forever, okay? Next, we're gonna look at spinning the content. Now, a lot of people online like to spin their content. So what we've done is we've integrated our system with a spinner called Spin Rewriter. If you go down here and click on Spin, as you can see, you've got your spinner options. So in this case, I'll just automatically rewrite sentences. I'll click on here and say I want it the most readable. If I didn't want to break the words like Manchester and London, I would put them in here for being protected keywords. And you can auto protect capitalized words and you can auto protect other things over here, only use synonyms and so on and so forth. Obviously, we could just play with this to see which one works best for you. But now I've done that, I can click spin. This will also cost a credit. So when I've just clicked spin, my credit should automatically disappear up here, as you can see. But we have now got a spun document which we can create uniques from. If you're going to create a unique, at the moment you have to click create. That will create you a new unique. And then you could copy and paste that into wherever you wanted. And you have to press the back button. And then you've got the ability to create another unique. Okay. If you keep that back into the spun version and then you can save it that will remain in there if you don't want to pay for spins which you don't have to if you've got your own spin rewriter api you can go over to the menu up here you can click on the account settings button and you can add your spin rewriter api token in here and your email address in here from your spin rewriter account that will enable you to then spin your documents as many times as you want completely free of charge because you won't be using our spin rewriter you'll be using your own okay you can also come into here and upgrade or downgrade your account so as you can see i'm on a free account if i was to now click on change i would be taken to a payment page i would pay to upgrade to the agency license and then i would end up with 600 credits every single month so i can create as much content as i need and my account would automatically be upgraded inside of here